Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do the daily vibes for around the 20th, right around the 20th. Now, I believe the 20th is the full moon, it is the full moon. Um, so, yeah, we might as well, we can call this a full moon reading, right? What's the full moon bringing in? Um, my brother's birthday is tomorrow. So happy birthday to my brother, one of my brothers. Um, so anyway, um, full moon reading. It's a full moon in Aries, okay? It's Aries full moon in Libra, okay? Let's just clear that up. Um, so this full moon is going to really affect Aries, Libra, and Capricorn. But anyhow, what do we have for a message today? What do we have for the full moon? What do we have for the full moon? Daily vibes, the daily vibes. Now keep in mind that not every reading is for you, okay? My cat is right here next to me. I do not expect her to sit, sit still for long. Uh, yeah, so what do we got? Well, that's a pile, only one pile. What do we got? What do we have for the full moon? Right around the 20th. Oh, still. Nope. Desk. Pay attention to your work. So pay attention, pay attention, pay attention to whatever it is that you're working on. Make sure you're paying attention. Oh, we got two, we're gonna take those. Unicorn, use your intuition to make beneficial changes. So you're gonna be having to use your intuition, pay attention to your work. And then we have club. Someone will try to make you do something against your will. And that's interesting because Libra is all about justice and Aries is ruled by Mars and Mars is kind of forceful energy. Tower is ruled by Mars, okay? So there's four, so it's interesting, okay? Um, somebody is gonna try to make somebody do something against their will. So, what do we have for the full moon? Just gonna get one of these. Ooh. Block them. Somebody's needs to be blocked. Let's get one more. Ooh. Change in living situation. So there could be a change in a living situation that is coming up. That over there, but I can't. Cause the cat. We have a liar. We have a liar. Somebody's lying. So lies are probably going to be exposed. I mean, we're all about justice. I mean, there could be a war. All right, war is Mars energy. So what do we have? What do we have? What do we have for around the twentieth? Could be some news of legalities. May have some karma that is playing out. What do we have around the 20th? Hangman, sacrifice. So somebody has been sacrificing themselves for a cause, for a belief. Okay, so I believe that this is a change. This is a change. This may be the end of a sacrifice or somebody's been holding on to something f to prove a point or because of a belief. Sacrificing themselves for a cause. This, when you see a rainbow, it means that the storm is over, okay? The difficult, excuse me, the difficulty is over. So something is ending. Something is ending. There's a difficult situation that is ending. Um, Probably going to lead to a change in, in living situation. And some people don't realize that, you know, your job where you work can be considered a second home. 
um, there is going to be a change in a living situation where uh, you spend a lot of time. All right. What do we have for around the 20th? There's a need to let go. Somebody's been struggling. They've been struggling to let go of this point, of this belief, or whatever it is that they've been hanging on to. They've been struggling. They have been. Seven of Wands reversed. Now, this may be giving up. It may be giving up. This is facing opposition, overwhelmed, worn down, maybe feeling attacked or being attacked or getting criticized, overly criticized for this belief or whatever it is. Somebody may have been trying to prove a point, you know, and they were doing good. They were doing good. They were sticking to it. And it's gotten to the point where this is overwhelming. This is overwhelming. This may be admitting defeat, stepping down. Um, this could be a fall from power as well, or somebody that is losing their power or they're losing the will. You know, they just, they don't, they're losing the will. Um, so what else do we got? Oh, eight of cups. So eight of cups is goodbye, right? We all know what the eight of cups is. It's walking away from an emotionally disappointing situation. There's no contentment there. There's been illusion. There's been fantasy. There's been confusion. There's been other options. Somebody may have been exploring their other options. They were, you know, they maybe they had too much. They were trying to do too much. Now this is walking away, okay? Walking away. Saying goodbye. Giving up. There's, there's like being under attack as well. It's like giving up the battle. I don't want to fight. This is giving up some sort of battle or something like that. Ooh. Judgment. So this is a life-changing decision, right? This is truths being revealed. There is karma. This is the end of a trial. Okay, this is the final decision. It is the final verdict. This is a wake-up call of some sort. Somebody may be getting a, a wake-up call. An epiphany. It's time to release. This is release, okay? It's release. It's accept and allow. This is the an end of something. Um, making a judgment call. Uh, this is the end of things. So something is definitely coming to an end. This is a life-changing decision. Five of Wands. So Five of Wands, we have somebody here that's been going back and forth. They've really been struggle, struggling. This is a serious power struggle. Serious competition. You know, somebody has been engaging in some sort of game, going back and forth, playing with somebody who does not intend to let them win or budge or anything. So stiff, stiff, stiff competition here. I feel like this is some sort of major dispute. May, we may even have some, some litigation here because of that judgment card in this card. There's a lot of things going back and forth, pettiness, uh, arguing. We may definitely have a fight here with the Seven of Wands and this. This is like unwilling. Unwi and the hangman is unwilling to let go as well. So somebody is unwilling to let go of something. And they're struggling right now. The struggle is real. It is real. Uh, it feels like this hurts. It does hurt. Stiff competition. So we have a in Seven of Wands, a stiff competition as well. Major dispute. We have a dispute here. <laughs> the moon. All is not as it seems. There's an unclear and difficult path ahead. Somebody is wearing a disguise, okay? We have illusion. We have hidden forces. All is not as it seems. Definitely some, you have to look deeper because there's something that is hidden. There's some unseen problems. There's also lies, okay? There's lies. Somebody is lying about something. They're lying about the truth because the moon is right next to the judgment. Moon is lies. Judgment is truth. Because the shadow, 
you know, in, in some decks, the moon is labeled shadow. I mean, what you see is not what you get, okay? I can make a duck on the wall with my fingers. It's actually my fingers. What you see is not what you get. There's been some sort of illusion, and I saw the illusion earlier. Somebody has been in some sort of illusionary situation, and some sort of truth is about to be revealed, which causes a decision to be made, a judgment call to be made. And this judgment call has to do with leaving because of the Eight of Cups is right next to it. The Eight of Cups is, an, is a necessary but painful goodbye, okay? I can't fight like this. I can't, I can't live this lie. I can't keep going back and forth. I can't be attacked. I can't, I can't, uh, there's a lot of criticism here. There's criticism. There's feeling under attack. This is overwhelming. It's, it hurts. I can't keep standing in this position, you know? I feel like we have somebody here that is admitting their defeat. They're admitting their defeat and walking away. They've sacrificed themselves long enough. This is like, there's so many secrets. There's so many lies. There's so much strife. There's so much fighting. I can't do this anymore. I can't do this anymore. And I feel like this is a huge battle because it is Mars energy, okay? And Mars energy is war right it's a fighting energy and with the seven of wands and the five of wands that is fighting somebody is using some sort of manipulation they're, they're, it's like they're manipulating. They're trying to, and that's where we have someone will try to make you do something against your will. That moon card is some sort of manipulation. Maybe it's emotional manipulation to get somebody to do something. Hermit. The hermit is thinking, going within, withdrawing, um, taking a time out to reflect on what is happening. So somebody is is thinking. They're thinking about... I don't know, lies versus truth. This is like true or false, okay? Okay, this is true or false. I mean, I can't make it up. And we got somebody here that is thinking. It's like, and it is. This is thinking. So we got somebody here that is thinking about the truth. They're thinking about the lies. They're thinking about their circumstances. Um, they've been going back and forth, playing, you know, competing with another person for some ungodly reason. But this is awakening, okay? Now we have judgment and hermit right together. Those are both awakening. So this is awakening. Somebody is going through a spiritual awakening. They're, they're getting an epiphany or seeing something more clearly. There's definitely light because now the light, okay, it goes, it goes judgment, moon, hermit, okay? So the light is being shed. The light is being shed on some sort of lies, some sort of illusion, seeing the truth, okay? So we do have some truth that is being seen, okay? The light shows, it gets rid of the shadow, okay? It, once the light comes out, the shadow is gone and everything is seen, okay? So something is being shown, okay? We have somebody here that has been lying about something. Three of Swords, this is a painful separation of some sort. That's what the Three of Swords is. It's heartache, it's grief, it's suffering, it's a rejection, it's a loss. So this is some sort of loss. Somebody's been learning a hard, hard, hard lesson. You may have somebody here that's saying something angry. You know, those are fighting words. They're saying something, you know, that hurts. This hurts. It hurts. The truth hurts. That's connected. It's connected to the judgment. It goes three of swords, moon, judgment. So some lies hurt. You know, the lies hurt. The truth hurts. It hurts. This hurts. There's pain. There's pain. There's some sort of... Uh, Serious pain, heartache, grief, grieving over the deception, grieving, grieving, and there's an illusion here. Somebody, because the moon is illusion, it is. Somebody, and somebody has been hanging on 
with the moon, with the uh, hangman to some sort of illusion. But now this is an epiphany. It's an awakening. It's a wake up call. It's seeing the truth. Could be dealing with an emperor. Okay, this is somebody who takes control. This is a decision maker, so somebody is making a decision. This is somebody that is in a position of authority. It's Aries energy. So this is taking control, taking charge. So somebody is about to take charge of a situation. They're making a decision. They're going to, it feels like they've been thinking about it. They've been waiting for the moment because, you know, you don't tip. Sometimes you have to react fast when there's a battle, but it feels like this has been planned. It feels like it's planned. Somebody, it's like you knew this was coming or whoever is making this decision knew that it was coming. It's decision time. Put it that way. It is definitely decision time. We have a person that um, is very strong. In, in a position of power, power, very powerful, um, experienced individual that is taking charge. This person is fearless. They they have no fear. They're about to make a decision that uh, changes everything. I feel like this is planned. I feel like it's been planned. It's been thought about. I do. I don't think this is all of a sudden. I think it's been planned, okay? This is a putting plans in action. The truth is is seen. The truth is this is the truth. The truth is seen. It's clear. There's been darkness, but now there's light, okay? This is coming out of the darkness into the light. Acceptance. Judgment is a card of acceptance. Ready, ready to be held accountable, ready to accept the truth, ready to tell the truth, ready to do the right thing. So somebody is about to do something. It is life changing. A life changing decision is being made. Okay, period. Walking away from a painful situation. The eight of cups is mirroring the three of swords. Walking away from the suffering. Walking away from the lies because the, in between those two is the moon. Walking away from the deception. Walking away from the illusion. Turning their back. Somebody is turning their back because they're seeing something. Maybe it could just be an epiphany. It could just be, there could, you know, the judgment can also represent somebody from the other side. It can. Somebody that has passed away. And then we have the light underneath it with the hermit. So there may be a guiding light here. You know, we may have somebody that has passed away that is guiding somebody out of a dark situation. Somebody is realizing something as well. There's a realization here. I feel like we have somebody here that has been thinking They've been thinking a lot. They've been thinking about their previous mistakes. They've been thinking about somebody that they hurt. There could be an apology that is coming. I'm just being honest, okay? There may be an apology that is coming. We have somebody here that has been reflecting, okay? They've been reflecting. Then they may have been lying about their feelings, hiding their feelings. Something that has been hidden is about to be revealed. Trust me, it is, okay? We have an individual that is ready. It's like they're ready. They're ready to be held accountable for their actions. So get prepared for some truth to be revealed. Somebody may want forgiveness, you know, for hurting another person, you know, or they may be asking for forgiveness just for closure. I don't know. I feel like there's forgiveness here. Trying to prove a point. Somebody was trying to prove a point by, by uh, blocking another person or hurting another person. I feel like they're, they're giving up their stance. They're giving up their stance because they realize some sort of truth, you know, and there's no reason to hang on to this anymore. 
There's no reason. There's no reason to hang on to this. It's not bringing happiness. It's not. It's all been a fantasy. It's all been an illusion trying to prove this point. There's no happiness here. There's not, unfortunately. We may have somebody here that has gotten some sort of karma that now, you know, what goes around comes around that made them realize, you know, something has happened. There's a new truth. There's a new realization here. We have somebody here that has been thinking a lot about the lies and the deception and the pain and there's going to be a decision a decision is being made to take charge and and fight for something it's like or give up or something like it looks like it's a fight to me um there is a fight there is a fight that changes everything i know that there is but we have somebody also with the emperor who is ready. This person is battle ready. They are ready. And then judgment is held accountable. So somebody is ready. They're ready to be held accountable. They're ready to hold somebody accountable as well. I do think there's going to be a conversation or something is going to happen that uh, may give you some sort of information that you were looking for. The difficulty is over. Some sort of difficult situation is over with that rainbow. It is. Ooh, positive, very, very positive change. Now this is fortunate. It's interesting because I said unfortunately just a minute ago maybe. This is destined. It's a karmic cycle that is coming to an end. It's good luck is on its way. This is the wheel of life spinning somebody in a new direction. This is the end of a cycle and the beginning of a new one. So this is positive movement forward. It is. A positive change is coming. Destined. It's destined. It's destiny. Right next to the judgment. Okay, so a destined change of course. We got an epiphany here. We really do. Judgment and hermit right together. This is a wake up call. This is like going a spiritual awakening. Somebody is like, they're waking up and they're going somewhere with that wheel. They are. They're going in a new direction. Very positive, positive, positive. Woo! King of Cups reversed. Now the King of Cups reversed is emotionally withdrawn. Somebody that may not have good intentions, just being honest. This could be emotional shutdown or emotions all over the place. Or maybe, and this does have to do with the past because judgment is accountability for the past. Okay, it does have to do with the past. Mistakes and, and consequences and the whole nine yards. Anyhow, so maybe we have somebody in the past that wasn't listening to their intuition or did not act in a kind manner. This person may have not been compassionate or they didn't listen to their heart or they closed their heart off or something like that. I do believe that we have emotions all over the place. That's what I think. I think we have somebody here that may have withheld as well or hid because there's hidden with the moon, there's hidden, there's hidden emotions, there's hidden feelings, there's, there's hidden truth, okay? Somebody's been going back and forth with their feelings, and I really feel like trying to prove a point in their ego, okay? This is like giving up, though, admitting defeat, stepping down. Uh, maybe there's, they're, they're giving up because whoever it is that they uh lied to walked away you know that that's walked away isn't it playing decided not to play i'm not playing i'm not playing with you i'm not playing i do see somebody turning their back on a player you know they turn their back you know the eight of cups the five five of wands and the king of cups reversed five of wands is a game it's a play and you know i ain't playing eight of cups is right after it. it's like goodbye <laughs> take your games and you give them to somebody else thank you very much okay so uh, we got somebody here that was emotionally unavailable that was playing games with an individual that turned their back and you see ya, I ain't playing with you. 
you know, and so I think that may have given this person the awakening, you know, the time alone, even if this person engaged with other options, because I did see the Seven of Cups earlier, you know, karma never loses an address, so I feel like, I feel like there's some sort of realization and departure realizing the truth okay realizing the lies you know um realizing the deception and thinking about the future thinking about the next move planning the next move and ready 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 to be ready to take action so one more card and that's it Oh, are you ready for this? What is the card? Can anybody guess? Justice. This is a <laughs> final decision, acting with integrity, doing the right thing. This is the laws of karma. There's two sides to every situation. There's a plaintiff and there's a defendant. On one hand, you know, what goes around comes around. You know, the laws of karma see straight through a situation. You can't get away with anything when it comes to karma. You can't. There's no toleration for lies. None. None. You might get away with it for a minute. You might even get away with it for a couple years but not forever because karma never, ever, ever forgets. So I, this is no toleration for lies. A fair and just decision is about to be made. Somebody's about to be honest and upfront. There is definitely some truth that is about to be revealed. There's a realignment that is going on. Somebody's about to get exactly what they deserve. This is the end of suffering. It is. It is. The Wheel of Fortune is the end of a cycle. It's a positive change. We have a new life. We have a new life that is beginning. Being forgiven, accepted. The end of an illusion. We have somebody here that caused another person a lot of pain. They did. They did with their lies and their deception. Whoever this person is, is getting some sort of karma. And whoever, and whoever it is that they hurt is also getting, is getting a reward because that's what the Wheel of Fortune is. A lot of karma here. We have karma three times. Judgment, wheel, and justice. So karma, karma, karma. The end of a karmic cycle. Be prepared for things to move forward in a new direction. With that wheel of fortune, we have an individual that is releasing they are, because that's what judgment is. Judgment is releasing. Releasing the past. Moving forward. Final decision for sure. I feel like whoever caused all the pain, and I hate to say this, is now being taken down they are losing their power something is being taken down with that seven of wands reverse that could be power, uh, foul play that could be slander maybe they're being attacked by somebody because of their actions anyhow good luck